If I were an artist or, 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 or a musician or a painter, you would take it for granted that I would have passion for my subject. Well, you know, scientists is no different. We are driven by the same passion, the same creativity. And so if you don't have the passion, you are not going to unlock the mysteries that lie ahead of you in, in science. I find this field really interesting because first of all it touches many aspects of our daily life not only because we can discover more about how the you know the stars are made for example but also things like how can we generate energy and power for ourselves how can we use you know harness that nuclear energy to be useful so radiotherapy radi you know imaging and medicine for example so because it's so varied I think that's what I find most interesting Chemistry I find fascinating because I can design something, I can think of a molecule and then I can make it and then I can take it all the way up to an application, something useful that's good for the real world. So it's that sense of creating something, being able to do a little bit of creative thinking as well as doing something very practical. It's an opportunity to be part of uh, something that has real impact on people's lives. We are looking at some grand challenges in science. One of them is molecular computers. Can we make computers just out of molecules the same way as our brain has been made? The second challenge we are looking at is in, in, in this huge threat of antimicrobial resistance. One thing I learned is in the science I do, there are no boundaries. We use as much physics as chemistry as biology. We use inspiration from art. To, to, to explain some of the beauty and creativity that we see in science. So there are no boundaries. If you do something well, there will always be a problem interesting enough for you to look at. There's so many unanswered questions in physics. And so in our department, for example, we've got a high energy group, which goes off trying to find the Higgs boson and, you know, successfully really has done that. There's a whole new array of facilities coming online. So these are experimental facilities which will allow us to make new discoveries at the, at the extremes of nuclear behavior. So because of that, there's gonna be lots of PhD opportunities, lots of research opportunities, just because the abilities to do certain experiments, this is gonna be a first time opportunity. We don't know what will make a good material until we've made it. We don't know how to predict accurately what's going to make the best material for a particular application. So every time we make a new material, we learn something. Um, we learn how, what works and what doesn't work, and we can then feed that into the next step in the process. So that's what I really love. We're always learning. Um, there's always something new to discover. It's such a varied field. There's so many opportunities. And I would say go for it if you like a challenge, if you like talking to lots of different people, if you like travel, if you enjoy all those aspects and you have an interest in science, I'd say definitely go for it. We, we stand here and in front of us is, is, is a whole area uh, uh, of unknowns. And we, we, we at the moment are picking up a few things and we're learning uh, an enormous amount out, out of them. And every time we learn something, we, we also learn what we don't know and that's often greater than what we do know. So uh, before us stretches uh, an expanse of knowledge, there's huge amount, not only for, for me to do, but for generation after generation to do.